I'm homeless. Like, I don't got nowhere to go. video hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title video your girl is back again with another story time if you're new to my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't even have to say much because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's on what that's that's on what that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all see by the title this story is going to be about my worst vacay like this was that y'all this vacation was just ghetto this whole story is just gonna be ghetto as y'all know in order for any of my story times to make sense i have to give y'all a little backstory so y'all this happened in like 2000 and 2017 or the beginning of 2018 if y'all don't know this is going to be another spring break story. If y'all don't know what Miami spring break is, I'm going to go ahead and explain that. It's basically like when all the colleges from like throughout Florida and some people even fly from different states. I remember I met people in New York. I met people in Texas. I met people all over during spring break. It's basically when college students fly to Miami for the spring break Miami experience. Spring break was like two weeks away and my car broke down. I don't remember what broke down on my car, but I think I needed a new... um radiator or I don't know a pump or something broke with my car and I need to get my car fixed and it was like two weeks before spring break and I had the money to get my car fixed but I didn't have the money to do both like I couldn't get my car fixed and go to spring break Miami so I was just like let me go ahead and be responsible this year and just not go because like priorities like priorities and y'all i remember this because i was really proud of myself like i'm not even gonna lie when i was in college like during this time of my life i was real real financial illiterate y'all i was irresponsible like i could have three dollars and fifty cent in my bank account and a uh, combo from mcdonald's can be three dollars and forty nine cent and asia would be on her way to mcdonald's like this is how financial and literally I was at the time y'all I just was not good with money but I remember when my car broke down I had went ahead and told my friends because my friend wanted me to go back I was just like girl I'm not even gonna worry about going because my car done broke down and I'm like it don't make sense for me to go to Miami shake some ass and then when I get back I'm walking like it, it just don't make sense so I was like I'm just not gonna do spring break Miami this year so she was like, no, Asia, I want you to go bad. Like, please come. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, no, girl, I don't got the funds this year. Like, I can't go. So I think it was like a week before spring break. She hit me and was like, how much it costs for you to get your car fixed? And I don't remember the exact amount, y'all, but it was like between the $150 and $200 for me to get my car fixed. And y'all, my bitch, my friend, let me go ahead and give her a name. We gonna call her Ludacris. It's a girl, y'all, but we gonna call her Ludacris so Ludacris hit me it was like i'm gonna go ahead and send you the 200 dollars. like if i send you the 200 dollars, would you be able to come to spring break miami and i'm just like you lying like bitch you're lying like you're not you're not gonna pay for my car like you're not gonna pay for my car to get fixed but y'all the bitch cashed at me 200 dollars to get my car fixed so i got my car fixed and i was lit i was like yeah we going to spring break miami i ain't have no clothes i didn't order no wig i didn't have time to do anything i just knew that i was going to spring break miami so i'm looking up hotels looking up hotels but of course Everybody in their mama was in Miami this spring break because this was a spring break when all the HBCUs had their spring break schedule at the same time. So this wasn't like the average normal spring break Miami experience. Like this was like Miami times three. Like this was spring break Miami on crack. Like it was crazy, y'all. I'm gonna post videos and pictures throughout the store so y'all can see how thick it was and different things that went on when we was in Miami. So I hear her and was like, girl, we got a problem. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go because I can't find a hotel and she's like oh girl it's okay we can stay with my auntie i got an auntie that live in miami we can just stay with her and i'm like cool like that's what's up and she was like all you have to do is pay my auntie 150 dollars." and i was like cool like that's perfectly fine because to get a hotel during spring break in miami you probably was gonna pay 150 a night and i was supposed to be staying i think this year that spring break i only did i think i was gonna be doing thursday friday saturday and i was coming home on sunday so i was gonna be staying with her auntie for three days for 150 so that was a deal so i was like cool that's fine and i was just gonna drive my car from because she lived in orlando so i was gonna drive my car from tallahassee to orlando get in the car with my friend and then we were gonna go from orlando to miami because it was like a three-hour drive so that was cool or whatever fast forward to spring break i think it's like a wednesday night and i drove from tallahassee to orlando to go to my friend's house 
And y'all, when we get there, um, Ludacris and her boyfriend, they live together. Her, um, Ludacris's sister, older sister, was at her house that night. So we all there chilling or whatever because I'm planning on spending the night at her house because the next morning we're going to drive down to Miami. So we all chilling or whatever. We eating. And all of a sudden, Ludacris' sister is like, Ludacris, you told Asia about Auntie House, right? And she, she was like, no, nah, I didn't feel the need to tell her. And her sister looked at me and she's like, Asia, you know my auntie live in the hood, right? And I'm like, oh, girl, that's fine. Like, I've been to the hood before. Like, that's that's like that's fine. Like, I'm not bougie. Like, I didn't want them to think I was bougie or anything. So I'm just thinking, like, why you have to tell me your auntie stay in the hood? Like, that's cool. That's fine. Because I live in the hood in Tallahassee. Like, anybody that live within 15 minutes from FAMU, FAMU is in the hood. So I'm thinking, like... Like, what the hell? I go to school in the hood every day. Like, it's fine. Like, I ain't bougie. I didn't want her sister to think I was, like, bougie or anything. So, I was just like, yeah, girl, it's fine. So, she was like, all right, I'm just trying to let you know, whatever. And that was that, y'all. That should have been my hint right there to just know that this spring break was going to be a ghetto spring break. But, y'all, I didn't even think anything of it. I'm just like, yeah, girl, it's cool. So, the next morning come, it's Thursday morning, we in the car, we done got our liquor, they done rolled up, like, we in the car, we vibe, and we driving to Miami, y'all. We finally get to Miami, we didn't even stop by her auntie house to drop our bags off or anything, we went straight to South Beach, because I told y'all, we was already lit, like, I was watching everybody's story, we was hyped, we went straight to the beach, y'all. So, we get to the beach, we vibing, we drinking, we dancing, like, it's, y'all, it's Spring Break Miami, we getting lit, like, the niggas is outside, we outside, so, we on the beach all day. I probably was at the beach for, like, honestly, like, five hours, y'all. We probably got there around 6, and we didn't go back to her auntie house until, like, 10. But fast forward to later on that night, it's time for us to go to her auntie house. And we were just going to her auntie house just to drop off clothes, like, just to drop our bags. I'll take a shower and then come back out because, you know, it's spring break Miami. Like, what is sleep? Like, we're not going to sleep. We're going out. So, we pull up to Lil' Haiti. That's the neighborhood that her auntie lives in. And y'all, like, the, the scene just switch up. Like, I, I didn't know. I thought we was in a different city, y'all, because it was just different, y'all. It's like, you ever heard people pick, make a post or people say, like, you never been to Miami if you haven't been to certain places? And it just seemed like I wasn't even in Miami anymore. We get to her auntie house, y'all. And the house is just mad sketchy, y'all. There's bars on the window. There's no curtains. Like, I think she had, like, sheets hung up as curtains, y'all. We get to the house. There was, like, no couch or anything for me to put my luggage on. There was, like, no furniture. The floor wasn't clean. It was just mad sketchy and dirty. So I'm just like, okay. But I didn't, like, want to say anything because it's, like, obviously I want to feel like I'm being grateful because it's, like, she letting me stay here for $150. And ain't have nowhere else to stay because it's spring break and everything else was booked. So I'm not trying to seem ungrateful. So I didn't even say anything. I'm just thinking to myself, like, Asia, like, bitch, where the fuck you gonna sleep? Like, where are you gonna sleep? So I go to the bathroom, y'all. I brought my little makeup bag. And, y'all, there's no counter. Like, there's, y'all hear this? There, there was no countertop. It was like a bowl in a faucet. It was a bowl in a faucet, y'all. And then a tub. There was no, there was a toilet, y'all. But... I can't even explain, like, I don't know, y'all. I felt like I had time traveled to, like, 1997. Like, this bathroom was just super-duper outdated. It was just a bowl with the faucet, and then it was just a tub. So, I can't even sit my, my makeup bag down and fix my face or anything. I'm sitting here doing my makeup like this, y'all. I'm holding all my, uh, my brushes and everything in my hand. I'm trying to beat my face. I'm just like, I'm over it, y'all. I um took a shower, I got out or whatever. I think they had, I'm lying, they did have one piece of furniture in the living room. It was like this little lounge chair, but they didn't have no table, no TV, like nothing was in the living room, y'all. So I'm sitting on this table, me, her, her cousin, and her brother, we all sitting on this little, the chair is probably about a little bit bigger than this chair. Like we all sitting on a chair, like I got a corner of the chair, y'all, and I'm just doing my makeup. And we getting ready. But remind you, y'all, I'm lit. So I really can't see how bad the house was. I just knew that it wasn't together. Because the bars on the window and the curtains. But I'm like, okay, Asia, like, we in Miami. We going out. It's lit. It's whatever. So, y'all, we end up, um, we end up going out. We probably came back to her auntie house like 2, 3 in the morning. And 
we was like, we just going to get a blow up mattress because we realized that her auntie didn't have no, no couch or anything. Cause I'm thinking like, Oh, are we just going to sleep on a little blanket in the living room? Like you do at your auntie house when you on vacation, like, you know, just a little blanket, sit in the living room and you go to sleep. Like, you know, just a little blanket. But no, y'all, she didn't have no carpet. She didn't have no rug. Like she didn't have nothing, nothing for us to sleep on. So before, before, uh, what was it? Did we go before or after? Yeah, I don't know if we went before or after we went out, but I know we went to Walmart and the blow up mattresses was like a hundred and something dollars. Like they didn't have any more regular size little cheap. I don't even know how much blow up mattresses are, honestly, y'all, but I think the blow up mattress was like over a hundred dollars and we couldn't, we couldn't all share a blow up mattress because y'all probably like, Asia, why y'all just ain't gonna have? But no, it was ludicrous, her boyfriend and her brother so they probably would have all shared one and i would have had to get my own and i'm not supposed to pay 150 for no um no blow up mattress if that's the case like what am i paying her auntie for like it's just too much and it's like boo they got them so we get ready or whatever we end up going out that night we had fun but when it was time for us to go back to the house y'all we went in the house to try to see if she had cover or something and she didn't have anything i think Ludacris went to ask her auntie auntie do you have a blanket or something her auntie gave her a damn a sheet a sheet y'all she gave us a sheet to sleep on and remind you they had tile on the floor so i'm just like i can't do this i'm gonna just sleep in the car so y'all, I would go ahead and sleep in the car and Ludacris, Ludacris was already in the house. Her and her boyfriend was trying to sleep on the little, the little pullout bed or whatever. And then her brother and I was going to sleep in the car. So I go to the car or whatever and I, I'm in the passenger seat. I recline the seat all the way back. Her brother's in the driver's seat and he reclines the seat. So we sleeping or whatever. And remind you, it's already like two, three in the morning because we went out that night. So an hour or three hours later, Ludacris, Ludacris and her boyfriend, they knock on the window and they like, y'all gonna have to get in the back seat. And I'm like, why? And she's like, we can't sleep in there. That couch is uncomfortable. Like we can't sleep in there. So I'm like, all right, y'all remind you, I think it's probably was like four or five in the morning. So I go get in the back seat, y'all. Ludacris is in the back seat on the floor. I'm on the, on the actual seat and I'm sleeping or whatever, y'all. I woke up. I couldn't even sleep because my neck was crumped up, linked up. So I just have an attitude. Like I wake up with an attitude, y'all. Scrape unit on my face, real annoyed, breath stank, tired, neck hurt. I'm like hungover because I got super duper drunk the night before. So I'm just over it, y'all. So I wake up or whatever. We get ready. And you know how like when you on vacation, you like to take pictures. You like to look cute. Yeah, I be all up in the camera, y'all. I couldn't even take no pictures that look cute because I didn't want nobody to think that I was staying at a little crack house or I was staying at a, a trap house. Like I didn't want nobody to think that I was staying somewhere crazy so i couldn't even take pictures y'all i'm on snapchat taking pictures like i'm on spring break just living my best life i'm taking my pictures like this on snapchat like y'all the phone is this close to my face and i don't want them to see no premises of the background because it's just like no baby this this is not it this is this is the ghetto so i'm taking pictures like this y'all i'm outside taking pictures because i just don't want nobody to see my background because baby it was giving a student housing like i still have some of the stories that i posted and y'all the ghetto but if i can find any pictures or videos from that spring break i'm gonna put them right here so i think we end up going to like south beach or something and i end up linking up with my other friends because i told y'all it's spring break miami so my other friends from tallahassee and my hometown they were there so i end up linking up with them and i already knew the situation i dealt with last night i was not trying to deal with it again so later on that day i had started calling hotels trying to look for a room but all the places was like, no, sorry, we are booked. We don't have any rooms available. Like, we just booked and we're sorry. Like, we don't have anything available. And if they did have rooms available, y'all, the room was priced at like $500 a night because it's spring break and I'm booking it last minute. I remember calling like the Risk Carlson and they said they had a room. And that room was like, I honestly want to say it was like thirteen or $1,400 a night. And it's just like, girl, like, what they do that at? Like, I don't got $1,300 to spend on a room. So... I was just like, all right, 
that is what it is that it is what it is but my other friend that was also in miami she had a little situation going on too so i was just like all right let me see if i can just um stay with them that in one night and then i was gonna go home because remember y'all it was just a three-day trip so the first night which was the thursday night i slept in the car and then all we had was friday and saturday and i just had two more nights so their situation was i think one of the girls mom with my friend one of her mom had booked them a hotel in a whole nother city i don't know what hotel they were staying at but for example it was like that her mom booked them a marriott in like texas instead of miami so they basically had to find a room that night too they end up finding a room but i told y'all the prices were like really really jacked up and high because it's spring break so i end up asking her hey can i um stay one night with y'all how much is it gonna be y'all it was gonna be like one it was like it was like one it was gonna be like 170 or like 200 i don't remember the exact amount but it was gonna be almost 200 dollars just for us to stay at night and it wasn't even like it was like i was getting my own bed or anything it was gonna be with like four or five other girls and we were each individually paying one i think 170 to 200 a night so i'm just like oh no baby i can't do that like i'm not doing that so fast forward to that night y'all everybody out having fun they living their best life and mimosa they having fun and asia over here thinking like where is she gonna sleep like where am i gonna go like i'm trying to enjoy my spring break but y'all i couldn't even enjoy my spring break because i'm thinking like i'm homeless like i don't got nowhere to go so everybody at the restaurant so we on um collins avenue we they drank and everything y'all i'm at the table calling places seeing if they have a room calling so y'all i'm calling i'm calling i'm calling and i finally find this one hotel and i'm like hi do you guys have any rooms for tonight and she's like yeah we have a room for three hours tonight and i'm like what for three hours and she's like yeah we have a room for three hours and y'all i didn't even know this exists before this spring break they basically have you know for youtube purposes i'm gonna just put two and two together hotels hotels so i'm just like three or three hours like I, why can i only get the room for three hours and then she's like this is a blank blank hotel i don't remember the name of the hotel but basically y'all it was a hotel so i'm like all right cool i'll take that how much is gonna be i think it was like 50 or 60 dollars off for three hours and then i was thinking like all right i'm gonna book the room but when i get there i'm gonna see if i can book the room for like i was gonna see if i can just book the room for like eight hours like a full night of sleep so y'all i get to the hotel and i'm going to go book the room and i'm like um can i go ahead and book it for eight hours and she's like sorry this room isn't available for eight hours we only have this room available for three hours and i'm like well do you guys have any other rooms available and she's like yes but you're not allowed to book them in advance and i'm like okay so basically what I was trying to do, y'all, was book three rooms, but of the same room that I was in. So I wouldn't have to like move or anywhere. But she was like, that's not how it worked. Like my room was like booked after that. Like as soon as I leave, somebody else was coming in that room to. So I'm like, all right. But that's the best I could find, y'all. So I was just like, all right, it is what it is. But surprisingly, y'all, the room was super duper um nice. Like it was super duper nice. I had looked at the pictures and everything online. But before I went to the room, I needed to pick up my um bag. So I called um Ludacris because I wasn't with Ludacris all day. Like I had seen her and her boyfriend that morning because we she dropped me off to South Beach. But all throughout the day, I was basically with my other friends. So before it was time for me to go back to the hotel, I went to call Ludacris. I'm like, hey Ludacris, um, let me know when you get back to your auntie house because I need to come pick up my stuff. And she's like, pick up your stuff. And I'm just like, um, yeah, girl, like we had to sleep in a car last night. Like, I'm not doing that again. And she was like, all right, but you know you still have to pay my auntie. I'm like, what? Girl, what? She's like, yeah, you know you still have to pay my auntie. And I'm just like, why would I have to pay your auntie when I didn't stay there? I stayed in your car. And she's like, oh, well, the agreement was that you were going to pay my auntie $150 for the three days that you're staying there. It's not my auntie fault that you decided not to stay there. And I'm just like, there was no bed. The blow up mattress cost $150. So it didn't make sense for me to pay $150 to stay, to pay for a blow up mattress. And then also pay $150 to stay there when I had to pay for it. Y'all, it just didn't make sense. Like, it, it wasn't mathing. Like, I was just like, wait, no. Like, what? She's like, yeah, just because you decided that you're not staying there anymore, that don't have anything to do with my auntie. You still owe my auntie $150. So I end up just hanging up on her, like, click, like, 
I'm not even dealing with this tonight because I told y'all I already had a headache. I was already annoyed because I had to stay in the hotel. So I'm just like, I'm not even dealing with this tonight. So I end up hanging up on her. I think I end up calling her back two, three hours later. And I was like, I need to come to the, your auntie house to get my stuff. And she's like, all right, we on our way over there now. I think I end up taking an Uber from South Beach to Little Haiti. So I got to um, her auntie house. And when she was there, she was like, um, you're not going to be able to get your stuff until you pay me the money so I can give it to my auntie. Because if my auntie don't have her money, it's going to be an issue. And I'm like, what do you want me to pay your auntie for exactly? Because I did not stay here. I stayed in the car. And she's like, oh, yeah, I know you stayed in the car, but you agreed to pay my auntie this amount of money for these days. And I'm just like, sis, like, no. So me and Ludacris, we going back and forth. We just going back and forth. Her brother times in and her brother's like, yeah, you still have to pay my auntie because my auntie was expecting to come up on this much money during this weekend. And if my auntie knew that you was planning on not staying here anymore, she would have gave your spot to somewhere else. And I'm just like, what? Like, I'll pay your auntie for the shower that I took they're like what you want me to pay her for like do you want me to pay her for taking a bird bath because y'all like I told y'all it was little the bathroom was like this long it was in the sink it was a bowl with a faucet y'all so I'm just like how does this make sense I'll pay your aunt to you I think I told her like $20 I was like what she want me to give her $20 for taking a shower there like I'll give her $20 and she's like no you have to give my auntie the whole 130 in order for you to get your stuff okay and I'm just like all right, whatever. I told her that I was going to give her auntie the whole 150 just so she can give me my bag. So she ended up giving me my bag or whatever. And I'm like hella annoyed, y'all. I'm like over it. I end up calling the Uber back to the, um, and I call the Uber back. I don't know if I called the Uber back or if I had somebody come pick me up to take me to the hotel. And y'all, I remember that, fr that Friday night, I went to bed early. Like it probably was like, it probably was like 11 o'clock and I went to bed early because I was just over it, y'all. So I pull up to the FU hotel and I'm trying to pay for the room and she's like, um, it's going to be $60. I pay for the room. I go to my hotel, y'all. It's hella people at the hotel. So I can't even sleep. It's like, I, yo, I can't even describe the words that I was hearing and what was going on that night. Like I just felt extra, extra nasty because I'm staying in this hotel. Like, oh my Jesus, like why me? Like why me? So, y'all, I'm just, like, real uncomfortable. But surprisingly, the FU Hotel was super duper nice. Like, it honestly looked like a regular hotel, but nicer. Like, it was super duper nice. But just because I knew that it was a... I didn't feel comfortable even laying on their sheets or even staying there. Because I'm just like, this is just... I'm not built for this. Like, this is not me. Like, this is ghetto. Like, I'm not even built for this. So, y'all, I ended up going to sleep. I think they had, like, a little, um, what is the couch is called? Like, a little convertible type, lean back, lean back type of couch. I ended up sleeping in one of the little lean back uh, couches. And I think it was, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. I get this loud knock on the door. They, like, and I'm, like, who is it? But they're not saying anything. They just, like, and I'm just, like, who is it? And then um, I peek out the thing, and it's the lady from the front office. And I'm like, I open the door, I crack it, y'all. And I'm like, yes. And she's like, sorry, ma'am, but your time expired five minutes ago. You're going to have to leave this room. And I'm just thinking, like, ma'am, it's, it's, it's 3 in the morning. Like, like, where do you want me to go? And she's like, we do have another room available, but this room is already booked, so you're going to have to get your things and um, leave. So, y'all, I'm hella annoyed. I get all of my stuff or whatever. I go to the office, y'all. I book another FU room. And I think it was literally, like, next door from the other room that I was staying in. So, I booked that room or whatever. And that room was only available for two hours. So, I was only going to be in there taking a power nap. I closed my eyes. Next thing you know, I heard a... Ma'am, it's sorry, it's time for you to get out of this room. Um, this room is up. Da -da -da. So I go back to the front office, y'all, and I pay for another room. And this last room that I had to pay for, I think it was for like four hours. So this was enough for me to skedaddle. So I was like, all right. <sighs> I paid for that. And I think total that ended up coming up to like, it was almost about $200. And I bought three of them. And I think it was between $50 to $60 um, each time. 
So y'all, it's the next day and it's Saturday. I was planning on leaving Sunday night because I think spring break was ending that Sunday anyway. Like Monday we had to go back to school. So I just decided to cut my trip short because the whole thing was like ghetto. Like her auntie house looked like it was a trap house. The whole ethnic hotel, it was, y'all, it was just, it was, it was ghetto. So I was just like, I'm just about to go home. And I didn't know how I was going to go home, y'all. Because remind you, me and Ludacris, we not on the same page right now. Because she basically telling me that I have to pay her auntie. And I'm not paying her auntie. So we not on the same page. So I end up um calling her letting her know that i'm going home today i didn't know how i was getting home y'all but let me let y'all know how i got home but we gonna get there so i called Ludacris and i'm like hey um i'm leaving tonight i don't think i'm gonna be able to stay this sunday because like this whole living arrangement situation like it's just ghetto like i can't do this y'all. so i'm on the phone with her and she's like oh well before you leave make sure you stop by the house and give my auntie her money and i'm just like girl your auntie not getting no money like she not getting a dollar from me like are you are you dumb or are you dumb like she she not getting she can't get nothing from me like i took a bird bath like she not getting anything from me so that was that and this is how i got home y'all y'all know about the group me group me is like a messaging app for like college students to like communicate for classes or like i told you they have everything on her they have a hair group and they have group me for your classes they have a group me for a week they have a group group me for everything and they also have a group me for ride so i basically seen that they had a um i think it's called a central florida group me i think it, the group me was called central florida so this girl wrote in the central florida group me and i know y'all gonna be like asia so you telling me you got in a car with a stranger yes y'all i had no choice like y'all i didn't have no choice at this point and i was in stress like i was stressed out so it was a girl in there and she was like hey driving back to tallahassee tomorrow morning um forty dollars and i dm'd her and, and she looked like a nice girl her name was like tia or mia and i'm just like she looked like a nice girl so i wrote her and was like hey um i need that spot like i need that spot so she was like, all right, cool. She sent me her address and then I told her my situation that I didn't have a way to get to her because she didn't live in Miami. She lived in like Miramar and I think it was like 30 minutes or 45 minutes from Miami. So I ended up taking an Uber like close as I could to her and she ended up like picking me up from a gas station or something, y'all. It was hella creepy, hella weird and I spent the night to this girl house. I did not know this girl at all. Mia or Tia, if you watching this, that's not her real name y'all that's her her code name but if you are watching this girl shout out to you thank you so much like we still follow each other on social media because y'all she was a real deal lifesaver like she was an angel thank you girl she let me spend the night to her house i think she even offered me food that night y'all in the morning we drove back to um tallahassee and yeah that was the story of my worst spring break ever y'all this whole story time was ghetto and all over the place so hopefully y'all kept up and i know y'all probably thinking like are you still friends with little no we not friends like after that trip i think we got into it or something that happened after that trip and then that was just the end of our friendship because baby i don't know y'all this the whole situation was just crazy that's pretty much the story time about my worst spring break experience ever like it was just crazy y'all it was just ghetto i have been to spring break miami like three four times so if y'all want another spring break miami or part two of my worst spring break miami experience make sure y'all comment down below um also the giveaway is still going on when your girl hits 20k i will be doing a giveaway i'm going to be sending three people 25 to 30 dollars via cash app in order for you to enter the giveaway you have to have your post notifications on obviously subscribe to my youtube channel and follow my um instagram my personal and my business instagram my personal instagram is i am asia not blasian and then my business instagram is bossy minks or bossy links i'm gonna have it linked down in the description box below but yeah guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video peace